Hello and welcome back to the Black Mirror 2. Not the Black Mirror 2, just Black Mirror 2. So last part we were kind of exploring around quite a bit. I think... This is the way to the diner? Yeah, we got somewhere. Jebediah Bitifer or something like that. I Why is everybody's name like that, Jebediah? Honestly, I've got no idea who that is. The city's founder, a mayor, a benefactor, what do I know? Okay, entrance to police station. What a flashy diner. thing that is. Probably some tourist cool ride. Europeans in particular confuse New England with California and think they should be driving around in convertibles. Mustangs. Hmm. And we'll probably need a pen for that blank notice. Bubblegum machine! I've seen such an old bubblegum machine for years. It belongs to the diner. They do that whole nostalgia thing in there too. No thanks. <laughs> Hamburgers, fries, malts. How nice. That's stinking garbage, and I have no particular interest in it. How nice. Most of the year, an open-top car is a bad idea around here. With that kind of weather, Biddeford should make the raincoat a national uniform. Hmm. Yeah, just down the street. Thanks a lot. Kind of phased through me there. Some people. A man in a white lab coat. What would a 50s bar be without a jukebox? The world's just wonderful, and aren't we all so very happy type music? It just isn't my thing. If there was maybe a Pearl Jam track on it, then I'd give it a play. But Buddy Holly doesn't quite do it for me. A big, ugly, plastic <laughs> lobster. Not particularly appetizing. The moose is the emblem of Maine. But the lobster's a close second. They're supposed to represent something like portholes. In reality, they're glazed display cabinets. The rear panels of the display cabinets are painted blue. They both have underwater scenes with plastic fishes and lobsters on them. Kitchen. And that's about it. Bread. I'll take some bread. Mrs. Bible won't mind. Great. I'm happy she doesn't mind. I really don't know if this place makes any money. There's usually a few people whenever I come in. But is that enough? Surely you can't get by on just that. They got two or three people working in the kitchen. One of them's Mr. Viber. Mrs. Viber works out here on her own. Looks like she really works a butt off. There's everything you'd expect from a diner. From breakfast and lunch, to coffee and cake, right up to dinner. The specialty is, of course, <laughs> like everywhere around here. I have to admit, they are pretty tasty. The specialty is, of course, lobster. No. Ketchup, mustard, mayo, salt, pepper, syrup, sugar, oh, and a bottle of vinegar. Yoink! <laughs> There's not much left. I don't think any of them listen. 
Okay, let's talk to her. That's Mrs. Biber, I think. As far as I can understand it, she runs this place with her husband. Um, uh, excuse me. What can I get you, my boy? Actually, I'm, I'm here to give you something. It's... It's from Fuller in the photo store. Psst. Hey, come over here. Um... Uh... Oh, tell me this is a back alley drug Guess deal. what this is about. A dirty old swine. I should have known. Vermin ain't so easy to get rid of. Tell him I... Oh. Um... You better tell him yourself, uh, whatever it is you have. Claire! You gonna talk all day? The customers are waiting! Get out of here, and tell your boss he can go to hell. Lovely. Jeez, what the hell was that all about then? <laughs> she sure didn't seem to be a fan of Fuller's. I got that much. And the guy in the kitchen... He sure wasn't supposed to see that she had mail. A man in a white lab coat. Oh, okay. Young man! Oh. You're Darren Michaels, aren't you? Yes, and you are? Oh, excuse me. My name is Newhouse. I'm a doctor at the health center. <laughs> at the health center? You mean at the hospital out there? Well, yes. We call it the Biddeford Health Center. We, we aren't just a hospital. We have yoga courses and cookery courses and... And what do you want from me? I, yes. I, I know your mother, Darren. We, we had a date here this morning, to be more precise. Me and her. We wanted to hang up some pictures your mother painted in the health center. Yes, and she... She's not there. She's normally always... She's always punctual, isn't she? This kind of thing never happens. Look, I don't have a lot of time right now. I'll give her a call, okay? As soon as I'm back in the store. Maybe she's forgotten about your little meeting. Uh, if you say so, but actually... I gotta go. I'll call mom later and tell her that you're waiting for her in in the health center. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Whoa, zoom. mother's house that's the entrance to the police station i never feel too good in the face of the state authorities what would i want there i keep my distance from the police what would i want there that's the hospital i was trying to keep myself out of there and up until now i was doing okay that's the hospital Telephone? A coin op telephone. It says out of order. If I was needing some small change, then I might take a closer look at it. But not right now. No time. That is a really long way home. I've only just come that way. And why should I go and visit Mom now? Okay. going on your lovely boss does he always try to grope his customers uh, no only the women that's not funny uh, no of course not what can i say fuller's an asshole well he's never going to see me again Did you bring 
Uh, of course. My pleasure. Thanks, That's really nice. I'm staying at the wild first. No problem. <laughs> You'll have them this afternoon. Thanks. My hero. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> Ooh. Huh. That's the guy from the diner. Is he following Angelina? Hey! You're gonna gawk her ass right off. Whatever the bitch said, it's all a dirty pack of lies. Sure. Back to work! Hey! You got the package? Yep. Well then, give it to me. How'd the photo shoot go? Ah, uh, shut up. I only mean the young lady who... That alley cat's gone, okay? No little goodbye kissy for little Darren. So now, get to work. The shelves here could use with the dusting and the gutters leaky. And you still gotta take my mama's dogs for a walk. Go back to the post office again and ask if the new photo paper's already arrived. The mailman still hasn't brought a collection note. And the store could also do with a good sweeping. He's cranky. I guess Angelina did a number on his ego. Nice job. Okay then, but before I start with all that stuff, I'd better give Mom a quick call and remind her she was gonna take the pictures to the hospital. And somehow I've got to get a hold of the film so I can make some prints of Angelina's pictures without fully catching me doing it. Okay. That's a lot to do. Fuller's camera. The film with Angelina's photos on it is definitely still in it. But I haven't a clue how I'm going to get the film out of it without Fuller noticing. I'll just have to try later. <laughs> okay, we got the back room here. A cheapo old time cuckoo clock. A testament to Fuller's fine taste for stylish interior decoration. I think Fuller took his mother on a world tour a few years back. Might be a kind of souvenir. Nothing stands out. Perhaps this little angular hole on the clock face. Is that how you wind it up? Nothing stands out. Hey, there's a small opening. I could easily fit my finger in there. Let's see. Nope, don't. It seems to be a, a mechanism to wind it up. Behind it is a little button. I can't wind the clock up, but I can push this button. Nothing stands out. Okay, so we can have a cuckoo clock go off. Back door to backyard, okay. Telephone. Huh. Seems like she's on the phone. What the hell are you doing using my phone? While you're on the clock? I'm gonna take it out of your... Yeah, yeah, whatever. Look, I just wanted to call my mother, but it was busy. It's not gonna make you go bust. <laughs> that broad spends the whole day on the phone, right? She already called up once while I was shooting that soup. Some drivel about Adrian in a mirror. I hung up. I got better things to do than listen to that kind of crap. My mother called, and you didn't tell me? The old lady's not all there in the head anymore, huh? Where you going? You're not on your own time yet. Mom? Mom! Mom! Mom, can you hear me? 
Mom! <sighs> Not then. But she's still breathing. Her heart's beating. She's alive. Okay, think, Darren. I need an ambulance. Emergency? Yes. My name is Darren Michaels. I, I, I just found my mother. She's unconscious. Five minutes later. Take it to the hospital, but take it real easy. I'll be following in my car in a minute. How does it look? Difficult to say, Dan. She must have stumbled. And now she's got a serious head injury. Exactly how bad it is, we can only find that out in the hospital. But, but how can she fall so badly that she... It's not the time for that now. W was your mother taking any kind of medication? Uh, I, I don't know. She always has a load of painkillers for her back. It, it, no idea. Please, collect anything that looks like medication and bring it back to me in the hospital. What about allergies? Not that I know about. That's not good enough. Could you find out the family doctor's number? Perhaps get a hold of her medical records. Yeah, yeah, I'll go look. I'll see you in the hospital. Very good. Oh, yeah. And we need your mother's insurance card. That too? Okay, please, can you hurry? Oh, man. Medication, insurance card, med history. I better hurry. Wow, things are moving along. Mom's bathroom. Like her old place, nothing special. We weren't poor, but my mother was always modest. And by the looks of it, so is this place. A shower here this morning, and Mom laid on a huge breakfast. Hey, isn't that the lighthouse? Huh. Back at uni, I usually don't eat anything in the morning. Aha, some medicines boxes, little bottles, tubes. I'll take it all with me. Even though that's quite a lot of drugs, I don't think it's everything. There must be more of her medication around here. Toothpaste, face cream, no other medication in here. I had a shower here. I ate some of it. I had a shower. I ate some of it. Yeah, this is the lighthouse. lighthouse underneath a sign with Willow Creek written on it perhaps it's from the place in England where she lived she first came to the US in her early 30s after the accident okay that's mom's medicine dispenser there's a box for every day of the week she always used to joke about it. She said that because of her back, she consumed more pills a day than a whole old folks home. But she never took as much as she was actually prescribed. She always maintained that she'd just forgotten to. The old home doctor then gave her the dispenser at some point. I always found it rather stupid not to take your medicine, preferring to suffer in agony. Well, let's take it. So, that's everything done. It looks like Mom was having a cup of tea while reading, before she fell over. The 
cup is still half full. Why did she stand up and go over there? Maybe the phone rang? Maybe she got some bad news and, and fainted. That doesn't seem like her at all. Oh my god! There really is running water here! I never would have thought it. Uh. My mother keeps her pots and pans and that kind of stuff in these cupboards. A few pots, a shallow bowl, plates, a tray. Huh. I'll take the bowl. Good choice, sir. The bowl is such a wonderful choice. You have such eye. That's where Mom indulged herself. We had an ancient wood burning stove at home that she used to cook on. She always said it reminded her of a time as a cook back in England. Handbag. Mum's handbag. All her papers must be in there. Well, we better check. All right, I found the insurance card. There's nothing else of interest in there, and I can earn my own money. Oh, we may just be fired after this. There are pictures of me and Mom in the cabinet. I can't see any pictures of my father here. Mom hasn't got many of him. I guess the memory of his death is too painful for her. When I was a child, I always wanted to know who my father was. Mom told me about him and finally showed me some pictures. That was the only time I've ever seen pictures of him. Hmm. No, I haven't got the number for Mum's old family doctor. I, I can't even remember his name, to be honest. Dr. Weck, Mick, uh, something. If I read his name, then it'll come straight back to me. My mother's insurance card. The hospital wants it, because it's not enough just being sick. No, it doesn't look like there's anything else. Mother's old bureau. That's where she keeps her letters and financial papers and such. I don't fancy poking around in there just now. My mother's old bureau. It's a beautiful lamp. Pity it doesn't work. Perhaps the bulb's gone. I think the furniture's still from her time in England. Quite old-fashioned, but stylish somehow. What do we got here? Handkerchiefs, a glasses case, an art magazine, a few Valerian draggies. Hmm, nothing I could use. Ah, my mother's address book. I ought to find her doctor's number in there. Okay. Mom likes thrillers and walk on stories. water. Mainly old stuff. Edgar Allan Poe and the like. Perhaps it has something to do with her time in England. She's often told me that she worked in a castle. That could well have come straight out of one of these books. Hmm. We've already just had a few days of warm, sunny weather back to back. It's supposed to get worse tomorrow. A plant on the windowsill. No idea what kind it is. Hmm. Looks like there's something under the flower pot. It's a 
little brass key. My mother's old bureau. Uh, it probably goes to that and we can't get into it. Oh yeah, we need a... Let's see. Oh no. It won't open. It's got a leather strap running from the back to the front cover. And there's a lock on it too. I need a key. That we have. Yes. And that's got the address book open. Now then, what was that doctor called? Dr. Wakefield. That's him. And here's his number. I just hope he's still got my mother's old medical records. Hopefully the number's still okay. Dr. Wakefield. 555... Dr. Wakefield's practice? My name's Darren Michaels. I, I have to speak to the doctor. It's an emergency. One moment, please. Dr. Wakefield speaking. Uh, hello, Dr. Wakefield. This is Darren Michaels. Darren? Is there something wrong with your mother? Mandy said... Yes. She's been taken to the hospital. She's fallen over and, and taken a knock to the head. She's not responsive. My God. The hospital needs her medical history. Do you still have it? Yes. Yes, we must still have it here. C can you fax it over to the hospital? Yes, of course. Hopefully nothing's happened to her back. Wouldn't the support corset protect her? Not necessarily. The corset supports her spine when she's standing up or sitting, but her back has been so badly affected since the accident that a fall can have repercussions. I don't think I want to know. I'll just go down to the hospital and find out there. Do that. I'll have the records sent to Biddeford. I hope your mother gets well soon. Yeah, me too. Give her my best wishes as soon as she's awake. I'll do that. See you later, Doc. Well, that's done. Dr. Wakefield has always cared well for Mom. With that back of hers, she could barely stand, sit, or lie down without causing her pain. And then she has the burns as well. And now this. The burns? And we can't take anything else. Okay. I'll just get dressed and then go straight to the hospital. I hope she's all right. Hello, uh, I'd like to see my mom, Rebecca Michaels. Uh, one moment. Your mother is still being examined. Have you got the medication with you? Yes, here. Oh, and I've also got the insurance stuff. When can I... Ah, thank you, thank you. I will tell Dr. Newhouse. Please take a seat for a moment. I will let you know when you can go in and see your mother. Excuse me, Mr. Michaels? Uh, yes? There is a problem with your mother's insurance card. I it looks like she didn't make the last payment. Uh, I don't know anything about that. And I really don't give a damn. Obviously, it's, it's a little unpleasant, but the insurance... 
Look, I don't give a damn about the insurance. What's happening with my mom? How long is this thing gonna take? I'm sure you'll be able to see her soon. But if we can't clear up this thing with the insurance, then we've got a problem here. We'll have to... Okay, Doctor. You can see your mother now. The room at the end, on the right. Mr. Michaels? I can't help it if your mother hasn't paid, or, or if the bank hasn't made the transfer, or, or if the medical insurance won't cover the treatment. Here, take the card with you and sort it out. In the end, your mother will be back on her feet, but she won't have a roof over her head anymore. Thanks. How is she? Not good, I'm afraid. The wounds to her head are quite severe. She must have fallen against the table with all the weight behind her. I is she going to... One should never give up hope. But your mother's in a coma, Dad. I'm, I'm sorry, but it's rather... rather uncommon for someone to wake from a deep coma. Perhaps if she'd been discovered earlier, then there wouldn't have been so much bleeding in her skull. You're saying that if I'd gone to her straight after our talk, then, then she wouldn't be here now? Lying in a coma? <laughs> but my boy, you couldn't possibly have known. Yeah, yeah, how could I have known? Fuller. Uh, sorry? Fuller! She, she phoned the photo store. She, she wanted to speak to me and Fuller just hung up on her. Wait, no, that's completely... She was conscious and wanted help, but Fuller... <sighs> Darren, get a grip. It was an accident. No one's to blame, and you should just... Just... just what? Simply sit here at the bedside and hope that she gets better? I... I... I can't barely believe that. Darren! You must... Thanks for your help. I... We'll look after your mother round the clock, Darren. You're welcome to stay here. I'll pop in again later. I'm not gonna stay here. I still have things to sort out. That fat bastard's gonna pay for this. Oh dear. No, no, I can't tell you that. You can talk to her son if you like. He's just... There he is. Hey! Mm. Hey! You! administrator as well. They could well be one and the same nowadays. The way things look, it seems that healing the patients is a kind of secondary activity. Hi. Hello, Mr. Michaels. What can I do for you? What do you think? You reckon my mom's gonna be okay? Oh, you... You never can know. But for sure, there are people who come out of comas after much worse accidents than your mother's. And folks who die from much less serious accidents. You mustn't give up hope. Pray for your mother. Statistically speaking, that has no effect whatsoever. I saved my time. What did that guy want? He was asking about your mother. What did he want to know? He wanted to know if... If... If she made it? Um, yes. But I told him we're not allowed to give out patient information. He ought to speak to you. I don't know the guy, but he's gone out of his way to avoid me twice already. You know who he is? I'm sorry, no. But he's got an accent. I think... I think he's British. But with something else, too. Listen. I don't want that guy anywhere near my mother. You understand? Of course. This Dr. Newhouse, what's he like? Oh, he's very charming. 
a really nice guy. He isn't from around here. He came to Biddeford a couple of years back. But he's really settled and got on well, and... Yeah, yeah, nice story. I wanted to know if he was a competent doctor. Oh, oh <laughs> yes, of course. He used to run a huge hospital in Atlanta. He's apparently rather overqualified to be working in a little place like Biddeford. But I think he enjoys the small town life. Your mother is in good hands. Are you from around here? You could say that. I grew up here. Then you surely must be able to tell me some exciting stories about the place. Ah, well, not really all that much happens here. You know, a young woman killed herself a couple of years back. She jumped into the ocean, and they had to call in extra divers to help search for her. They didn't save her, though. They never even found the body. But apart from that, there's <laughs> never really much happening here. <laughs> Thanks. Carrie, did you know her? Yes, we used to go to aerobics together. Any idea why she killed herself? We'd all like to know the answer to that one. She was always so happy. We used to have lots of laughs together. But then, she changed. She also stopped coming to the sports events, and I lost touch with her. I had no idea she was having such a hard time with herself. Thanks for the info. About all this insurance garbage. Best to have a look through your mother's bank transfers. If she's transferred the money, then it's up to the bank and the insurance company to slug it out between themselves. You can simply drop it by with the certificate if you like. Then I'll see to it. Mm-hmm. Thanks. Thanks very much for the information. No problem. Okay. A few glossies in a health magazine. Oh well. I'll take the fashion magazine here. Oh, and the auto magazine. Basically the whole collection. Might as well rob him while you're at it. Soda machine trucks out various kinds of sugared water. Hmm. <laughs> A bottle of soda. Great. <laughs> wow. Okay, our inventory is getting rather large. Gray door with a frosted glass window. The sign over there says pathology. Typical hospital chic. Hmm. There's a little medicine bottle lying here. Perhaps it belonged to the patient who was here before my mother. Laxativa, a powerful laxative. <laughs> Sounds useful. I wonder. A good idea, but how do I get the laxative into the bottle without damaging the cap? Okay, we don't know yet. A set of scales. Maybe for overweight patients? They certainly look a bit more solid than the ones you have in your bathroom at home. I'd better leave the scales here. What would I do with scales? There's a stethoscope. Presumably someone from the clinic forgot it when washing their hands. Doc Newhouse has definitely still got his. Yoink! I'll take it with me. They ought to be able to wrestle up another one here. 
monitor shows my mother's vital signs, pulse, breathing, etc. No idea if the values are positive. Hello! That doesn't belong to my mom. Maybe it's from the person who was in here before her. I guess I should have had a case like that for my mother too. Okay. We've got everything from here. Our inventory is getting rather large. Oh, wheelchair. My mom told me how she feared having to spend the rest of her life in a thing like this, even long after the car crash. Her back was seriously injured, and, and no one could tell her if she would ever walk again. Miraculously, I was left unhurt by our car crash. My mom was in a hospital for, for months. My father died at the scene of the accident. I was about three years old back then. I can't remember the accident. Nor my father. Hmm. There's a new guy here. I don't want to just sit here and wait for some news. I can drop by at any time and ask how she's doing. Okay, so we need to look in the... Yeah, the bureau. There's no choice. I can't believe I've got to scrabble around in my mother's private things so the damn insurance company doesn't let her die. I mean, what are they going to do if I can't find any proof that my mother transferred that money? Throw her out of the door in her bed? All right. Come on, Darren. Oh, God! Seriously? Another one of these? Shove off! I swear to God, nobody likes these types of things! You think they would know that by now? Yeah, no, that should work. Then I do this. Yeah, there we go. Good. Nope. Be this one then. No, did I get it wrong? I can't tell really. I don't think so. No, okay, so yeah, it's definitely off. Oh, is it like... Uh... No, that doesn't seem right either, does it? No, wait, wait. We might be onto it. Oh, crap. But the last part is right here, right? Ah. Uh... 
Hate, 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 hate. Okay, something like this. Oh, thank God. know who thinks these are like puzzles people like yeah so it's that ah I'm happy that I'm not the only one who hates these puzzles with a passion Something like that, but it needs to be. Okay, there. <sighs> okay, well. I'm past time. Hate sliding block puzzles. I'm happy I'm not the only one who hates or has a passion of hatred for these things. Seriously, come on. Nobody likes them except for the five people in the world. Maybe you can find that actually enjoy those. Ugh, I hope there are no more of those. The only game I've liked that had those are Alice Madness Returns. But that's only because they're like short turn puzzles you have like three turns or you know and so it's a lot easier to know there's a specific order to get it there but these uh, well at least we completed it you shall hear from me in the next part